Hi, my name is Mala Bat. I'm an emergency physician here at CHEO. Many hospital policies require children receiving emergency department procedural sedation to fast for the same amount of time as children undergoing surgery in the operating room. Fasting guidelines exist to help prevent sedation-related adverse events, such as pulmonary aspiration, which is the most serious and worrisome event. However, it's believed that children undergoing emergency department procedural sedation are at a much lower risk for these adverse events than other children. So our study team set out to understand whether there is a link between the amount of time a child fasted prior to their procedure and sedation and the incidence of sedation-related adverse events. We studied over 6,000 children from six different emergency departments across Canada and found that there was no link in the amount of time that children had fasted and the incidence of sedation-related adverse events. We're very excited about these results because we've shown that we can provide more timely care to children while still keeping them safe. By not having to delay a procedure, we can reduce the amount of time that children and families have to spend in the emergency department.